Hello, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Welcome to my tungsten full stack video. For some time, I had promised that I would do a full stack video of my tungsten pieces. And now here it is in all of its glory, so to speak. Now, it may be seem unusual uh, for someone to accumulate tungsten because it's not really a precious metal. But, you know, this is the Salivate Metal Channel, and I enjoy metal, especially heavy metal. And tungsten is quite a special metal. And I will describe that uh, in time here as we go through. But first, I'll tell you how I accumulated it. It was long before I started this YouTube channel. I uh, was kind of fascinated with different types of metals out there, uh, at least the ones that I could afford. And before tungsten was available in any sort of bullion form, I uh, found deals on eBay for some of these what are known as uh, bucking bars. Um, and uh, they came with this kind of format. There was this one seller that would sell these things. And uh, I would purchase them and snag them up on eBay whenever they came available. And so I had accumulated uh, a number of those here in this section. And also uh, other types of pieces, cylinders, uh, and other longer cylinders, as, the, as it were, that were used in machined parts and the like. And even some pieces that were a little bit kind of uh, frayed or or damaged at the ends or broken off because tungsten is a very brittle metal. And then also even a rod. And this little rod is quite fascinating indeed. It is very, very stiff. Tungsten is a very stiff metal indeed. So you really can't bend it. It has very, very little play in the metal. It's very stiff for what it is. So it's quite fascinating indeed. And uh, But it wasn't long after searching on eBay, I found a place that sold uh, element examples in cubes. And so I was able to accumulate a few pieces like this that has all the properties of tungsten on them. And these weigh just over 10 troy ounces very very nice but you can see the fascinating thing about tungsten is, is its uh, density which is very very similar to gold gold is 19.3 grams per cubic uh, centimeter whereas tungsten is 19.25 grams per cubic centimeter and we can see the properties the atomic number the symbol and uh, the melting points uh, it has a very high melting point and it is actually a very brittle substance, but when it's metallicized like this, it's very, very dense. And it's quite fascinating to see how dense it is. And then uh, I was able to accumulate uh, a piece such as this that is actually sort of would be considered sort of a bullion type piece. And that is this tungsten round that has a brushed metallic look to it. And uh, you can see that uh, it is engraved. It is not die struck because of the um, properties. It is almost all but and pretty much impossible to strike. So when they created these pieces, which I found uh, not long after I created the channel, I was uh, able to uh, find these things engraved there and uh, so they could be purchased as such. And so this is one AVDP ounce. Now, tungsten bullion, like copper bullion, is measured in avidiporous ounces. And uh, so that is how it comes, uh, rather than the troy ounces that we are so familiar. And I'm going to actually do a, an experiment here. And I'm going to clear some of this stuff back a ways and bring in the scare, the scale to kind of show you, because I think this is going to be quite uh, interesting indeed to be able to see how um, tungsten compares with another familiar metal uh, that is measured in the same way and that is copper 
So let's pull this down so we can see this a little better here. We have our scale and we are going to weigh here this copper ounce, this one AVDP ounce and get an idea of what it is here. Let's actually go to the ounce designation here and we can see that it weighs one ounce. There it is, one ounce. So very, very nice indeed. Now we will do the same with this tungsten piece and see what that weighs. One ounce, 1.01 1 .01 ounce. So very fascinating indeed. And then when you see them compared to each other, they weigh the same. But look at the size differential between the two pieces. Fascinating indeed. That is a comparison of how dense this metal is. It is just incredible. These pieces weigh exactly the same. 1.01 .01 AVDP ounces. And you can see the difference in the uh, density in them. Same thickness. And this is about twice as small as this piece here as the copper piece there you have it fascinating indeed so this is all of the copper or uh, all of the um, tungsten that i own and you can see the different sizes and the like in here this ki kind of piece here is more of an industrial application with these kind of pieces these cubes uh, multiple cylinders some marked unmarked each of these weighs avdp one ounce and these cylinders which i think are really cool nice thick cylinders machine cylinders here very very nice indeed and so when all that is said and done we have a full stack of tungsten now the total weight of this, I did weigh this all out. Look at that bar. Very, very wild. Nice, long cube. W, which is the atomic number for, for tungsten there. Very, very nice. These cubes, incredibly dense and heavy, these things. 10 ounces a piece of these things. Now, there's one other thing about tungsten which is quite fascinating. And that is, it can be used for jewelry. And this is the, the, the last example. I have others of these too. Tungsten ring. And uh, all together, all of this tungsten bullion and pieces that you see here, which is pure 999, or probably our 995. It's, it's, it's very pure tungsten. All of these pieces uh, go for, they, they weigh... 180.45 troy ounces. That's right. I didn't measure them in troy ounces on the scale. Fascinating indeed. So there you have it. A full tungsten stack. And uh, I'm probably not the only one on YouTube to have this much tungsten. But I would dare say that I'm probably the only one on YouTube that has uh, shown this much tungsten. Uh, all together at once in a form and uh, so there it is a full tungsten bullion stack indeed and it is fascinating that they, they are offering it now or at least have at one time in a tungsten in a bullion form such as you see here now the the last thing i'll say about tungsten that is the the big negative is because of the closeness and density to gold is that we're finding more and more fake uh, gold-plated tungsten pieces that uh, mimic uh, gold eagles and other valuable gold coins out there for their weight in gold and because of the closeness and density. And uh, so it is because of that that uh, tungsten is frowned upon upon many gold collectors. But 
I've accumulated, and one of the things that it attracted me to, to Tungsten is its density, because its density is so close to, to gold, I was able to be able to acquire some and feel the weight of gold without actually owning as much gold. And boy, I tell you what, it would be nice to have 180.45 uh, ounces of gold itself. But, you know, gold is soft. Tungsten is hard. It's a very hard metal, which is why it really can't be struck. Uh, in fact, when you see those gold pieces that are uh, gold-plated tungsten, they are essentially the, the gold is struck on top of it. Uh, um and uh, the, the, the tungsten is machined with, with a, 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 a resemblance of the design, but beautifully done, wonderfully machined in many of these cases, such as, the case, such as the piece you see before you here. But very nice indeed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, of my tungsten full stack video here. And uh, I hope you'd uh, like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and I encourage you to please rate comment, and subscribe.